Hi, my name's Wanda Zablocki. I'm the Welfare Officer for the Institute of Quarry and Benevolent Fund. Um, and I'm here to answer some questions about the fund. Um, if you're not too sure about what it is and what who it's for, etc., then hopefully I can answer some of those questions. Uh, it's one of the benefits of the IQ membership. It was originally developed in 1925 to help workers and their families through periods of hardship as a result of injury, illness or death. Um, and, and those who are described as being necessitous. Uh, today, whilst the uh, IQBF still helps people under those circumstances, it's much wider than that. And we're able to offer support and advice and information uh, as well as signposting people to other services if we can't help specifically. Um, but also, obviously, the financial side of things, we're able to help um, in times of need. Um, and you, the only criteria really is that you are a member or um, have been a member recently and uh, or, or you are a dependent of a member. Necessitous basically means um, at a time of need, literally. Um, we've got a, the video which will show you a little bit more about the fund and the sorts of things where um, we might be able to help. There is an example on there of a, a, a father who uh, has a, a child with a disability and they were struggling to um, take him different places because their car wasn't suitable for his needs. Um, so they were able to um, provide, the fund was able to provide some financial assistance in order to uh, help to convert the car to make it um, wheelchair accessible for the family, which has opened up their uh, world a lot more in terms of getting around and doing different things. And when we spoke on the phone earlier, you were telling me about the Institute's Benevolent Fund and how it's helped you and your family. Well, that's right, yes. I, as I said, my son Jason is disabled and... Um, what, what, yeah, what, what happened? Just tell us Well, it's a motorbike accident he had and um, obviously it's a, a big shock to us to find that he was going to be wheelchair bound. Oh, but, um, you know, it takes a huge whack out of my salary each week, getting him into town, seeing his mates and that sort of thing. But. Uh, the Benevolent Fund being been absolutely excellent helping us out with all that sort of thing. That's good to hear, but what, what practical ways would you say it's helped you and your son, the, the fund? Well, uh, we, well, they helped us out with buying this uh, wonderful van which we've uh, converted ah, to right. full height for the uh, wheelchair to get in, the, the ramp, so it's, it's a very nice thing to have actually and uh, it helps us an awful lot, I have to say. Yeah. Another example of a beneficiary that we have is uh, a dependent of someone um, who was a, a member who unfortunately uh, passed away and the uh, dependent was uh, studying to do um, music and they were struggling with the costs of um, his lessons and the, the cost of a new instrument to take him further in his musical development. Um, we helped with funding the cost of those lessons and towards the cost of a, a new instrument, which um, will help him to continue through his music career uh, throughout um, university, hopefully, and potentially into a musical career in the future, uh, which is fantastic that we're able to help this family. As a result of the current circumstances, what we have decided to do as a, an organisation is to provide an emergency COVID-19 fund. Uh, basically, that means that we still need to check your financial situation and to get an idea as to um, whether you were enti are entitled to any benefits or anything. Um, if it appears that you are one of those people that have slipped through the net or you have certain uh, necessitous circumstances, which means that you are struggling at this current time. For example, you might have had a, you know, an extra expense due to the um, 
situation, then we will consider your application and it's a much quicker process than it is generally. And this means that um, you will get a result fairly quickly uh, as to whether we are able to help you financially. There is a limit of £1,000 as a maximum for people who are applying to the COVID-19 emergency fund. And this is different from the actual fund and um, some people we may decide need some longer term help um, and not just from the emergency fund. Um, so, you know, if you are struggling um, due to the current circumstances, then please do get in touch with us. This is where it's all changed, James. You see, nowadays, anyone can join. The Institute of Quarrying and the Benevolent Fund is now open to the whole workforce. So whether you're a contractor or an employee, whatever your job, that's it, you can join. Well, it does sound pretty good, but how much does this cost? Well, this is the good news, and I bet if I tell you that it will cost you actually less than a pint of beer a week, surely you've got to be interested. It does sound pretty good to me now. The, the fund is specifically for financial support, but alongside that, um, I am available to answer any questions and to provide support and information and advice at the telephone. And if I don't know the answers, which obviously can happen, um, then I am very happy to do some research and see if I can find out somewhere that we can signpost you to. So it's providing that other support, but also maybe putting you in touch with other members in the locality through the branches um, in order to provide the contact that you need and the support. In order to apply to the fund for financial assistance, um, there isn't currently a time limit on how long you've been a member. So you can, I suppose, uh, if you have just uh, become a member, you can apply to the fund. But what would need to happen is that we would need to see some evidence of you having some uh, commitment to the quarrying industry throughout a previous period. Um, but uh, each case is literally taken on its own merits. So we will look at your circumstances specifically. So, and if you are not too sure whether you would be able to apply to the fund, then by all means do get in touch, drop me an email or give me a phone call um, and hopefully we'll be able to chat through and decide whether um, it is something that is worth considering for you. Well, my role as welfare officer um, is very varied. Uh, ultimately, I'm here to support the beneficiaries to the fund, but also um, in order to help individuals to gain the support that they need, whether it be financially or otherwise. Um, at the moment, what I'm doing a lot of is um, helping towards developing uh, publicity for the fund in order to make people aware that it exists and what it exists for, who it's available to um, and how to apply um, and to kind of dispel any myths I suppose and confirm facts of what the fund is all about and to, to put a face to the fund I suppose as well in order to make it more personable. Um, you know we are here to, to help and support you as one of your member benefits. Um, our trustees do only meet a couple of times a year and each application is reviewed by the trustees. It's not by myself or the members of the um, IQ team. Um, but under these circumstances, we've uh, got a, a much quicker way of applying um, and we are discussing forms through uh, virtual meetings, etc. Uh, at the moment and this will be ongoing throughout the current situation but also um, that is the way that we are discussing 
ongoing claims as well through the general fund. So uh, it can be, you know, the turnaround is generally four to six weeks, but obviously with the COVID-19, the turnaround is much, much quicker, hopefully within two to three weeks. In the first instance, if you contact myself, the welfare officer, and uh, we can have a discussion about what your needs are, and I will send you the application form. Uh, you will need to complete that and to fill out various uh, details and attach things like bank statements, copies of bank statements, etc. So we've got evidence of your financial situation. Um, I can be contacted on 0115. 855-6500 or emailed at iqbf at quarrying.org or you can go onto the IQ website and click on the link for the IQBF and there is a, um, a form that you can complete which comes through to me and I can look at your situation and send you out further information or we'll give you a ring to talk about it in more detail. Okay, so I'm Wanda Zablocki and I'm the Welfare Officer. Thank you very much.